Hello, my name is Austin Imuru and I believe you can do much more. Today, I'll be talking to you on what I learned from Sam Adeyemi, the pastor or lead pastor of this star Christian center. I understand from Sam Adeyemi that your success story is in people. Now, I have been following this man for as long as I can remember. And I have been privileged to sit under his mentorship. This man is phenomenal. I've studied him and I look at him as the biggest example of what leadership should be in our country or in the entire continent called Africa. This man believes in a few things I'm going to share with you briefly. And if you can apply them to your business, to your life, to your church, to any success endeavor, you will find success speedily. I could sum this man up in a few steps. And I'm just going to try to explain them to you. I could call this man what I call BIT, B-I-T. This man believes in three things I'm going to share with you. And these three things have revolutionized is the entire structure of the system and revolutionized my life and in any business endeavor we can think of. This man, number one, he believes in people. He believes in people. That is a B. I, like I said, sum him up in what I call B-I-T. He believes in people, he invests in people, and he trusts people. As simple as that, B-I-T, believe, invest, and trust. If you can apply this to your business, it will change your life. Let me try and explain a little. Sam Adeyemi believe that your success story is in people. You have to value people. Even if you are into business, you are going to sell to people. That means your cash is in their hands. You need to learn how to value people. He believes in the people. He finds people the way they are, from the rough. If you know his story at all, I think you remember a young man called Ni Adesaya. Ni Adesaya was found from the rough by this man. I heard from Ni Adesaya once that he was worse than a tout. A little boy that had no future, that was going nowhere in life, but he found a mentor in Sama Deami and his life changed. Right today, he's a wonderful motivational speaker in the country, working for different, different sectors and different industries here in the, the country. Why? Because he found a mentor. Somebody found him and believed in him. Somebody found the raw part of this man and believed in him. And the second thing he would do is that he would invest in people. He would train people. As a matter of fact, he's known for Desta Academy, where leaders are born in Nigeria. If you can point your finger to great wonderful young leaders today in Nigeria they have a trace back to Sam Adeyemi because he believed in investing in people if you don't invest in people what can you what are you going to invest on someone called me one time a wise man he said if you want something that you can harvest in three months he said invest in corn invest in maize but if you want something that you can harvest in a year or two invest in trees palm trees and stuff like that but he said to me if you want something you can invest in in for a lifetime something you can harvest for a lifetime he said invest in people this man believe in investing in people because investing in people is actually what brings development it's actually what brings a turnaround a total turnaround and finally this man trusts people he trusts them ah, he, i think he's the only leader i know that believe in developing talent and letting them go to go and shine he, he believe you don't just keep leaders when leaders are developed you let them lose to go and lead I was told once that when you are being employed by him in his establishment, any establishment, any board that is sit over, you are going to receive two notes. The first one is going to be your appointment letter that you are going to sign. And the second one is going to be a, like a questionnaire. They will ask you, what do you want to learn and who do you want to learn from? And it's, the, 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 the second question will be, when are you stepping out? When are you going to retire? When are you stepping out of the system? Because they believe that their job is to develop you, is to train you to become a competent leader, and they will let you go and lead, let you go and exercise what you have. It's not selfish at all. It trust people. He believes in them, he invests in them, and he trusts them to fly. If you, you can pick example from Pastor Godman, Akilabi, and the rest of them, people that have sat under him and they have been imparted. If you invest in people, if you can impart people and trust them enough to run your establishment, you will be like Warren Buffett shortly, smiley to the bank while doing nothing because you believe in people, you invest in them, and you trust them to take over the aims of I remain Austin tomorrow and I'm saying you can do much more.